Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan video where today we're going to be opening some sealed Nuvastroya stuff. So kind of a pair here. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, I recently got a huge lot of Bakugan and in that came some of these really cool sealed Bakugan. Uh, so we're going to be opening them on camera because of course they're toys, they're meant to be played with. We're going to open them up out of the packs and just see... You know what 2008, 2009 brings us? I believe that's New Vestroya time, right? Let's see if there's a date on here anywhere. Uh, no, not really any date. So I have an English Subterra Neo Dragonoid and then a Japanese Subterra Metal Fencer. So this will be pretty cool just to see the differences and all that um, as to what the packs look like. The... Uh, trap is already bigger so kind of cool we're gonna actually put the trap to the side for now and open up the subterra neo dragonoid so there is no good way to save this packaging it's just gotta go part of the baku glow series it says not really sure if there's any difference there let's see if the g power is covered yeah the g power is covered very cool See the back, it says Bakugan. It says new Bakugan, new cards, new Vistoria, let the battle begin. Kind of gives you a brief explanation of how to play. Okay, very cool there. And then of course we have the front booster pack extension plus. So it looks like it gives me a couple extra cards. You can see where it was hanging right here on a shelf. And then just sitting there. So let's go ahead and pop it open. Oh, that cracked right open. Wow. Okay, I might be able to save this one yet. <laughs> Just the glue needs to be put back on it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's leave this over here. And then we're going to take Drago out, which he just pops right out, I guess. And then we have this little piece, which I guess is carrying the car. It's kind of an optical illusion there. You're going to get more. <laughs> it's like I'm opening a Pokemon pack. Let's see what I get. So it looks like we have an ability card. And then this is the gate card. So ability card is... Ooh, Waterstone. It says, play before you roll a Subterra or Aquas Bakugan. Roll twice. If you stand on the same gate card both times, no gate card bonus or ability bonuses apply in battles this turn. Otherwise, you miss. Okay, so it seems like it's trying to help Subterra here with my pack, but that card seems kind of bad. <laughs> okay, now we have Needle's Eye. Bakugan with the lowest G power wins this battle. I actually use this card in a specific deck. So having this another one is pretty useful. This is a good card, actually. Now we've got Drago. Never touched before. Now he's touched. Let's go ahead and... I guess I'll, this is this is tape. I want to keep this because I'll probably just put them back in the display. Okay, got him there. And this is Drago. Cool. Okay. So ooh, his horn is very stuck. There we go. So I mean, Neo's pretty basic. I'll admit, um, not a whole lot going on here with him. Very interesting color scheme with the silver, I think. I like that a lot. Um, his feet feel a little loose. Well, obviously we have to peel the sticker off, okay? That's something we gotta do. So let's go ahead and just see what he's got. Ooh. Ooh, 500. 500 Gs, nice. Very cool. I'm going to close him up as well. He's a cool little guy. I'm not used to collecting Bakugan and other attributes, but this is nice. Let's go ahead and pop him open on the card here. Ah, nice. He opens and everything. Cool. Forgot he had these pieces. <laughs> nice. Okay. So I think the more interesting thing we're going to be doing here is actually opening the Japanese one. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. All right, so here's our Japanese pack. Um, not, I haven't seen too many of these, but this, ooh, the, this is, so this is some cool little lore here. So at the bottom here, it's very hard to read, but it says, Sega Toys Spin Master Bakugan 2 Project. So Bakugan 2 
is on some cards that I discovered probably around two years ago now. So Bakugan 2 is just Nuvastroya, but for a while everyone was like, what the heck is Bakugan 2? So a little bit of lore there. I'm glad it shows on the Japanese versions of these. And then we have some cool uh, text up here that says, what trap is it says the ancient of bakugan which has unique shapes you can make the battle more excited by using traps with your bakugan so obviously you use these you just place them with the bakugan to help aid in a battle very different color design from what i'm used to it's red instead of blue so that's cool oh you can use the trap either before the battle or during the battle by using ability card okay win the battle by using coordination between bakugan and trap Okay, I'm just kind of reading everything off here. Use trap as a wall defense. Your Bakugan from attack. Try to get double stand. You can add extra judge points according to your choice of the attribute, whatever your trap is. Okay, very cool. So you can play before you roll or during a battle, which is kind of nice to know. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this sucker open. Let's see if he opens just like the other one. Not quite. This one's a bit more tough. Oh, something slid out. Okay. Put this back over here with the rest of the stuff. So, before we even get started, I kind of want to open this. Ooh. Okay, so I can... Looks like some kind of mailing thing. Oh, we got a web code, I think. Baku Web 2010. Okay, so... Kind of later... Than what I originally thought in the early parts of the video. Oh, we have a. Ooh, check this out. So I assume this teaches you kind of how to play the game, but it's also sort of a collect them all thing. You have Maxis Drago, all the different like main character traps, I believe. Ooh, that's really cool. Let's see what the other side shows. Oh yeah, it shows like everything. Check that out. So it just, I guess it just shows like what you can potentially collect. And there's the MK2 down there with the cross dragonoid right there in the pirate section. Very cool. You got Knight Percival, a translucent dual hydronoid, Alpha Hydronoid 2, Cycloid right there, a B2 Subterra Cycloid. Ventus up here, got Ingram, Monarus, Skyrus. There's the B2 Skyrus right there, okay. See what Aquas has. The anime accurate Minx Elfin, Angel and Diablo seem to be the, the big ones there. So it's just like a collect them all thing. Very cool. Okay. And so then of course we should have cards. Everything kind of just is layered on top of each other. That piece was dusty. Seems like this piece is pretty clean because I guess it was inside of it, obviously. Take a look at the cards first. Oh, these are actually sealed. I'm glad they kind of translate these for you. That's not something I was expecting. Flip to the ability card. Oh, these are different, huh? Okay, they're paper too, like a matte paper. So we have this card here that says Metal Fencer Shoot. Uh, only Metal Fencer may use this ability card before rolling. You can roll Metal Fencer before rolling Bakugan. It will stay on the gate card when it stands, and when the battle started, put it on the used ability slot. Okay. I have another card with this one as well. It says Metal Fencer. It says only Metal Fencer may use this ability card during the battle. Put Metal Fencer on any gate card during the battle. Okay. Choose one attribute mark from its body and add the judge point according to your choice. After the battle, put it on the ability, used ability slot. So basically it's just the abilities I can use during a battle with this. Very cool. Okay, we'll leave those there. Let's see what the card is. It says, Carpus Crypt. I've never seen this card in my life. Okay. Well, we will use that to probably open Metal Fencer. And Metal Fencer sealed up in here. Ooh. Yeah, the Japanese quality of packaging, I think, is just... A lot better at least, at least it's more protected to me and here of course we have metal fencer okay so let's see nothing's inherently covered on him like nothing g power wise i believe um let's see the date let's see if i can read that make it out uh not really it kind of looks more like a string of numbers if i'm honest he feels good though like he feels pretty high quality 
He should have, yeah, here we go. He's got his little needle piece, very cool. And this is the piece that, I believe this is the piece he plugs into Viper Helio, so we might do that in a little bit. Oh yeah, here we go, all these different pieces for him. Oh man, this makes me want to collect the trap Bakugan. In the comments below, let me know, would you like to see me collect all the main character trap Bakugan, like the ones that they use in New Vestroya? I'm interested. I'm not sure how worth it it is though. Ah, nice. And so he's like a little, I don't really know what to call this, a cube with a circle inside. <laughs> so basically, so let's like do like a mock battle here or something. So let's say I roll Neo, okay? So Neo's on the thing, okay? And let's say there's a battle. I don't have another Bakugan, hold up. Okay, so we have Subterra Dragonoid on the card, and then all of a sudden maybe Viper Helios busts out. He's like, alright, time to fight, okay? So I can play an ability card. Uh, this one says I can roll Metal Fencer before rolling a Bakugan. We don't need that one. That one's not going to work. This one says put Metal Fencer on the gate card during a battle. So that's what we're going to want to play, okay? So let's do the battle. And it's 200 to 200, so I'm technically winning, right? So this is... 480 to 500 so technically I'm I'm I've won the card already um, but let's say like Helios uses some kind of crazy actually this card's not gonna work but we're just we're gonna put the trap on there <laughs> this is an example's not gonna work but I can put the trap on there and select one of these so I could switch to Pyrus I could switch to Aquas uh, on the inside of this Bakugan to maybe change my fate so let's say this Subterra icon only had like 50 I could be like, oh, I want to switch to Pyrus. And then all of a sudden my G power would jump up because of that. So, but I brought, that's a really bad example, but I brought Viper Helios out specifically to showcase Metal Fencer. In the show, Metal Fencer was Pyrus with Helios, but I happen to have Subterra. So let's see, we can get this out. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Is that right? I'm trying to think like, oh, he should go in the other way, but the other way is kind of hard with his tail in the way. Like, it only feels like he's supposed to go in this way. Metal Fencer on Helios. Doo -doo -doo. Cool, all right. Well, that was fun. That was cool. I haven't opened a, a pack like that in a long time. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick little one just to, I don't know, showcase some Bakugan that I've never opened before. And just to experience that, I thought it was cool and I wanted to bring the experience to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe for more awesome content. My name is Jesse, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.